Yeah, we'll see. This thing has got a light on it. <laughs> so maybe it'll work. I haven't done a video for a while, or it seems like I haven't. So I thought I would again. But it's been a long day. I've been working uh, pretty steady, and it's been hot. But something I've noticed that I kind of want to talk about was people have started really uh, expressing their disdain for Biden. Well, I think this is rather misplaced. You know, they, they're, they've got flags and banners and, and all this stuff. It reminds me of, you know, where people were doing the same thing with Trump. You know, going after the person, uh, not the policies. But this is different in that they're going after Biden or complaining about Biden when really he has very little to do. He hasn't had original thought for years. He's simply the mouthpiece for the people behind the scenes. Uh, it's like punching out a ventriloquist dummy because it said something to you. When it's really the guy with his hand up his ass, you know, that is really controlling this thing. So, I, you know, I don't hold Biden personally in contempt for this. I, I really think his family is a, a lot at fault here. He should never be in this position. But they found him to be the ideal candidate in that they can use him. Like I say, he's got no original thought at all. This is... So, they're using him. But I would say don't be so hard on him. He's as much a victim in this whole setup as you are. You know, it's really... It is elder abuse what they're doing, but... It's a shame, but I think you're going at it the wrong way there. Look to see who's running him. You know, like he does the stuff that he says. He wouldn't even remember what he said a day later. You know, this it's he just reads what they tell him to read. He's got no real control over this. You know, I, I think they'd actually, I mean, he keeps goofing up all the time and they'd like to get rid of him, but at the same time, Harris is, is not somebody they dare put in there. You know, so as long as they can keep him propped up and keep using him, they're going to keep using him. But it's just, it's a sad thing to see. But you really got to look at who's behind us, and they're, it's, it's the same old cronies from back in Obama's time, but that's who you got to watch. You know, if they got rid of him, like I say, they can't really put Harris in there, or they don't, he's not that useful to them. But they have to be careful because they really don't want to admit who's actually running the show here. But the time is going to come, you know, something's got to happen there. But, like I say, don't go after him personally. He's just a pawn in this. It's not his fault. His fault was that this is something he desired so strongly that even all his other senses are gone, but he's still this this clutch if he could just be president. And and even then, I think he'd have given up, but his wife wanted to be the first lady so bad. I mean, there's a lot of blame that's got to go on her. But it's a shame. Well, anyway, I just, when I see people 
going after him personally, uh, it bothers me a little because, like I say, he's really not a factor in this. He's just a mouthpiece that they're using. And it reminds me too much of the way the Democrats always want to do this. They want to personalize, like, you know, everything is Trump. They, they think that if they could get rid of Trump, if they could get him convicted of something, so they keep, they're wasting this horrendous amount of time and money going after him, thinking he's the problem. He isn't the problem. They're the problem. You know, it doesn't matter if, if Trump was to disappear. The thoughts that people have aren't going to change toward the Democrats. They're going to they hate them just as much as they do now, you know. So I don't know what they, they want to personalize this. It's, always, it's like, like say, like in Syria. Oh, we hate Assad. Oh, that's the guy. If it wasn't for him, everything would be fine and dandy. But then, you know, when they have their election, he wins by landslide. Of course, we say it's rigged, but <laughs> we should know rigged. I mean, we were saying that was rigged before it even had it, the election, you know, but <sighs> the people like him. He does a good job for him. You know, it, it's silly. But we gotta, we gotta personalize those. We gotta go after him. Same with Putin, you know. Gotta go after Putin. I think this is gonna be absolute hilarious when they want to have a a summit meeting <laughs> with Putin and, and Biden, and they are just gonna chew him up and spit him out. Uh, he hasn't got a a chance in hell, you know. It's, I mean, he can talk tougher. They can give him language that makes him sound tough. But when it comes right down to it, he's a goner. He, he can't he can't stand up to people like that. In fact, they're, oh, they want to talk human rights. Well, yeah, and then the Russians say, first thing, you know, yeah, okay, how about all these people that you're holding, these political prisoners that you're holding, <laughs> you know, from this armed revolution, this, you know, this whole nonsense. You know, I, I really can't see him going through with it. Uh, I can't see him really trying to sit down and talk with them. I'm sure Putin will cut him a little slack because he knows what he is. He's known what he is for a long time. Uh, so we can just laugh at him, but they won't take him seriously. Nobody takes him seriously. Well, it'll be interesting to see, though, you know, but something should be done, you know, of all them people that were arrested and just tucked away, you, you never hear anything about them anymore, you know, they, the most they can charge them with is trespassing, so they don't even want to charge them, you know, they just want to lock them up and keep them away like political prisoners. You know, it's a crazy thing. You know, that, that's not justice by any means. So something needs to be done about that. You can't, that, even some of the crazy liberal Democrats are looking at thinking, oh, we really can't be doing this, you know. Because they really can't. But yet they do it. You know, how you can get by with that? But I thought it was funny when the Russians said, yeah, we'll bring up them political prisoners. Because that's, that's a bunch of nonsense. Well, same when they wanted to have their commission on this. <laughs> um, it was so stupid because even when they first proposed it, you know, they said, yeah, it should be seven Democrats and three Republicans. Well, you know, of course, that wasn't going to fly. So they said, well, maybe we can go half and half. Well, they'd want to pick the Republicans, and there are some that aren't really Republicans. You know, but it's it's just a show thing, uh, a stupid waste of time. You know, because really, everybody knows what went on there. They want to pretend it's something that it isn't. But in the meantime, people are sitting there in, uh, I think they said they opened up some 
some shut down abandoned prison. They stuck him in there and keep him under solitary confinement. Well, you know, what about like even Amnesty International? Why aren't they on this case? Somebody should be on this case. I don't know how the world can allow that kind of foolishness to go on. Because they were doing the right thing. Uh, they did it in a stupid ass way. I mean, if you're really going to do it, really do it. Playing at it doesn't get you anywhere. Well, get you stuck in solitary confinement. But it wouldn't hurt my feelings if they, if what they were trying to do was the right thing to do. They just did it in the wrong way. Okay, and I think I can talk about the virus thing now, the origins of the virus. I think they're kind of backing off on the, the great clamp down on that. But it's an interesting thing, you know, because when this first came out, there were, there were people that said, that plainly said that this has all the, the hallmarks of something that was man-made, that was purposely fiddled with. You know, that this wasn't a natural thing. Oh, no, shut that down. Well, now it's coming out. Yeah, they were. You know, they were right. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't know where people, you know, when I look at that Fauci, I, I look at him in a whole different light than what other people do. I mean, I, I have no faith in that man at all. I was talking with a couple of my sisters who are, live in Minneapolis, and they're, of course, the liberal, you know, which I think... <laughs> If you've got sisters that go to college, the, the chances of them coming out being liberals is pretty great. Anyway, you know, they were saying, oh, he's such a nice guy. He, ain't, You know, when I look at him, I think Mengel. He's, that's what he reminds me of, the angel of death. He isn't really a doctor. Here he is, the highest paid government employee. I mean, we pay him a lot of money to lie to us. And he made a lot of money off the whole deal. But, but all people are turning on him, but God darn, you, you, you know, it takes so long before people start seeing the light on this sort of thing. Well, and the news media is to blame there, but they're turning on him now, and once they turn on him, well, then he's screwed. But, Okay, so then, <laughs> now we want to blame the Chinese. You know, uh, that Fauci, he claims, oh, we didn't know what was going on. I knew then what was going on. This goes on all the time. Well, we're going to blame the Chinese for this, though we had our hands in this too. We like fiddling with them, you know, if you can weaponize something, basically is what you're doing. Take something that's that's humans are susceptible to, make it susceptible, and then play around with it a little bit and see if you can weaponize it. And it, it's not just China that's doing it. Like I said, we have fingers in that too. But if we're going to try to hang the Chinese out on this thing, the Chinese are ready to come back at us because we have been doing that in a lot of places in this country and out of country. We have labs set up that we've been doing this for a long time. And there have been accidents and there have been a lot of close calls. And the Chinese know all this. And they will go public with it. So I don't think they're going to try to hang China on this. Because if they do, China will come back. You know, and, and there's a lot of truth that they can tell. You know, we'll try to deny it, but... There is all kinds of evidence of, of things that went on that they covered up that the Chinese have access to. So that'll come out. But we've been doing that for a long time. You know, even though there is all kinds of, of provisions against this to stop this from happening. It happens. Well, I suppose better wrap this up. Or this battery will go dead.
and it's almost dark and it's been a long day a long hot day but we've had a, a series of like 100 degree days and no rain so you know, she's, she's dry I've been pumping water steady but I would love to see if they actually had a summit with Putin and, and Lavrov. I mean, these people are sharp and these people understand diplomacy. And you get some bumbling idiot like Biden in there, uh, even if he's got all these people backing him up, uh, these people all have a certain agenda that they think that they're going to, you know, really push this. It ain't going to fly with them Russians. It is not going to fly at all. Uh, they they know better. But they're old hands at this. And Biden and those pack, they're just old hands at bluffing. And you can't bluff him. So I'd love to see that, but boy, if we do see any of it, it's going to be uh, just little snippets, you know, but I would love to have a recording of that. Like I say, uh, Putin, I mean, he's dealing with this senile, crazy old coot. Uh, I think he'll, he'll show him some mercy, but uh, he really shouldn't. I mean, he should just be straight with him. If, if, if Biden can't take it, and that's too bad. But man, these people, they got a high opinion of themselves, but you don't go up against the Russians with just a high opinion of yourself. You better have something there.